let's talk spring cleaning. But this is not your typical spring cleaning video. We're not talking about decluttering and organizing your household. Today, we're talking about five steps to spring clean your business. Spring cleaning is not just for your home and your belongings. You can and should spring clean your business. But what does that mean? That means taking the time and giving attention to tasks and projects that you put on the back burner from last year or from the first few months of this year. Now is the time to go through and organize. And to give you some inspiration, we have five steps of where you can start to spring clean your business. Clean up your email. You knew we were gonna start here. And even if you're an inbox zero type of person, we bet there's still some organization that can be done to make your inbox run more efficiently. Start with unsubscribing from spam and delete old and irrelevant emails. Go through unread emails and respond if necessary. And lastly, create some files and organization systems that you can use moving forward to stay more organized. Digital file organization. Yes, this means cleaning up everywhere that you have digital files. In your Dropbox, in iCloud, in OneDrive, your Google Photos. Really take the time to organize where your files are being held so when you need to find something, it's so much easier. And while you're at it, create a good organization system to use moving forward. So when you do need something, you know exactly where to find it. Check your monthly expenses. This is so important for small businesses. And a lot of the times as you start to scale and grow, you forget about all the little expenses you have on a monthly basis. And this can really save you some money. Check where you are paying for services, subscriptions, and products and really ask yourself if you still need those things. Also look at your vendor list. This is a great time to take a look at where you can possibly find some savings with new vendors, or perhaps ask your current vendors for some loyalty discounts. If you have certain subscriptions or services in several different places, consider bringing them all to one vendor and perhaps you can get a discount that way. Research new vendors. While you're at it, you might as well decide if there are any vendors on your list that you no longer want to work with for one reason or another. And perhaps you saw someone on social media, a small business in your local area that you'd really love to support. Now's the time to go in and move that vendor, move over to them, take a class. Is there a skill or interest that you've been wanting to learn? Perhaps there's a new software that could really benefit your business, but there's a learning curve involved. Take the time in the spring to sit down and learn. Learn a new skill, go through that software, do what you need to do to make your business more efficient in the future. Spring cleaning your business is a great excuse to go to that class, to go to that networking event, to invest in yourself and your business for the future. Some of our favorite online places to take classes are Udemy, LinkedIn Learning, and Skillshare. Some other ideas include signing up for networking groups in your area, listening to podcasts, or attending webinars. Taking the time to spring clean your business will really pay off in the long term. You will feel refreshed and ready to take on the rest of the year. And don't forget, if you're lacking time and you really need to delegate some of these tasks, consider working with one of our virtual assistants, or if you're in our local areas, one of our in-person assistants. We would love to help. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing and we will see you in the next video. Bye.